Hey, let's draw a mitten to go along with reading our The Mitten by Jan Brett. So I'm going to do a base. I'm using a pencil and an eraser, a lot of erasing. I'm doing a, a straight base at the bottom. And then I'm going to do an upside down U. You might think of it as a petal shape, right? Nice and rounded. That's for the main part of my mitten, the forefinger part, right? And then I need a thumb. So I'm going to kind of do the same shape again. I'm going to attach it and do another kind of like a petal or an upside down U, or you could think of it as an N, right? Now I want to make it more mitteny. You may have noticed this is super light. Draw lightly. I'm going to be doing a lot of erasing and right now I'm still trying to work out my basic shape. I'm also going to speed up my camera a bit so that you don't have to watch all the work I'm doing here to make small changes. This is a hand made mitten. It's knitted. So I want it to feel handmade. I want it to have not quite such a perfect rounded shape. I want it to be as if a hand's been in it and the shape has adjusted and changed a little bit. Or maybe animals have been in it and the shape has adjusted a little bit, right? So I'm going to spend some time erasing and changing that outer shape. Again, I'm never pressing too hard. Now, who's hiding in there? Not your hand. Your mitten has fallen. Could it be an elephant? Could it be a lion? How about a panda? Mm. Oh, pig is coming in. Pig is coming in. What about those crazy raccoons? Oh, a squirrel. And he's even bringing in some food to eat. Who's in your mitten? Pick, take your time. Draw somebody in your mitten and then color it in later. You're wondering who's in my mitten? It's a frog. A frog has hopped on in. I'm going to go color it.